Hi everyone, my name is Eva and joining me is Ricardo and together we have made this analysis about the water business. In our bids, we wanted to represent a huge problem, the consumption of bottled water and its effect on our environment. In recent years, bottled water has become an omnipresent product around the world, with millions of bottles sold each day. The disposal of plastic bottles is a significant contributor to plastic pollution and one of the most significant environment challenges we face today. Most plastic bottles end up in landfills or oceans where they can take hundreds of years to decompose, damaging ecosystems and endangering my life. So what can we do to address this problem? The answer is simple. We need to reduce our reliance on bottled water and promote more sustainable alternatives by using reusable water bottles and investing in water filtration system. We can drastically decrease our carbon footprints and conserve resources. It's clear that bottled water has a negative effect on the environment, but we all have the power to make a positive change. By working together and taking action, we can reduce our impact on the planet and ensure a sustainable future for generations to come. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Leo and I'm a data analyst at the Pacific Community in New Caledonia. And I'm in front of you today to present you the disability dashboard talking about disability statistics. I wanted to produce this dashboard to raise awareness on this topic, uh, which is not really known and not really understood in the Pacific, but also uh, in the world. So please feel free to click on everything <laughs> to test uh, how it works and to understand how it works, because you can see you have some key definitions um, on disability types, for instance, and you can play with the country as well if you click on a country on the map and it will filter automatically on this country and um, the figures in the same time. So if we continue on navigation, we can go to the overview page and then you have an overview of people with disabilities in the Pacific. But if you prefer, you can focus on only one country. Um, here I'm filtering the page with the Vanuatu, for instance. And if you move your mouse on the country, you will see uh, a new hidden chart. And it's the same for a few pages in this dashboard. So test it and click on everything, as I said. And the last page here I wanted to present is um, workers with disabilities. It's important to talk about that because for me, when we talk about disabilities, we also talk about abilities, especially in the labor market. Thank you for listening, and I hope you enjoy your journey through the dashboard and uh, have a good conference as well. Hello, everyone. Today, I'm here to talk to you about a serious issue in the United States, which not only impacts the economy, but also poses a significant risk to the public safety. I, Mary Shanathangam, is here to present before you a dashboard I have created on cargo theft. Cargo theft refers to the unlawful act of stealing any type of cargo, such as goods, baggage, fuel, money, etc. The main KPIs I have explored are the total number of cargo thefts, the stolen value, and the required value. From the analysis, it is seen that there is a big spike in the number of cargo thefts from the year 2019. Even though we do not have enough data to prove in the current data set, I strongly assume that the COVID outbreak is one of the main reasons for this spike. From 2013 to 2021, most of the victims of the cargo thefts are individuals rather than any business organizations or institutions. ATM card fraud is the highest in number followed by the fuel robber. I have also added a recommendation session which I felt will be good to bring down the number of cargo thefts such as spreading awareness and taking some preventive measures. Together, we can reduce the impact of this issue. Thank you all for listening. Hi, I'm Himaja. My teammate Shrikar and I are from Indiana University, Bloomington. I take immense pleasure to discuss the visualizations made by our team on the topic unicorn startups and their impact on the global economy. From the visualizations, we can infer that 75% of all unicorn companies are located in the United States, China, and India, the top cities being San Francisco, New York, and Beijing. It also shows a 389% surge in unicorn startups after the pandemic. Additionally, it demonstrates a quadratic relationship between valuation of the unicorn firm and the number of investors. The interactive and graphical format allows users to analyze various metrics, including valuation and geographical spread. This project also highlights the potential of unicorn startups for growth and investment.
Hi everyone, my name is Alessia and I am a freelance information designer based in Italy. I'm so grateful to be here presenting my visualization and I really hope that you are enjoying the conference. My project, which is called Can Money Buy Happiness, aims to investigate the correlation between the life satisfaction value and the GDP per capita. To avoid information overload, since I wanted to design a static piece, I decided to visualize only the 10 happiest and the 10 saddest country with a population of more than 5 million people. Aesthetic clarity and visual impacts are the aspects I focus on most. I wanted the poster to be visually interesting and immediately relatable to the topic addressed. I think you have all figured out by looking at the data vids the answer to the question that entitled the project. I wonder if it remains the same considering all the countries. I will definitely investigate this in the future. Thank you so much for listening and I wish you a great day. Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you had a great day. Um, we are very quickly making our way to the end of the event. Um, I hope you've enjoyed so far. Um, this is one of my favorite parts of the event. Uh, we're thrilled to be hosting this competition again this year. Uh, we've hosted it every year so far, and it is always a highlight of my experience. Um, Tina and her team have supported this initiative for the last couple of years. Um, just to give a little bit of background, um, we basically uh, have hundreds of applications come in throughout the process. Um, with the help of Tina and her team at Apexon, uh, we narrow it down to a top 10. We throw it to a virtual vote to help us narrow it down to a top five. And then with your help over the last day and a half, we have finally narrowed it down to our top three. Um, we are thrilled to have Tina here to uh, announce the winners. Um, three of the five of them are actually here in the building, which is exciting. Um, and then the other two are joining us virtually. So hello from home. Um, and then Tina, yeah, is where I'm going to kick it off to you, and we'll, we'll okay. let the winners know who they are. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. So yeah, I'm Tina Siebert from Apexon, and we love to sponsor this event every year. Um, this starts off in really fourth quarter of the year, getting ready for today. So there's a ton of preparation behind it. The whole team at the conference, Kelsey, you do a wonderful job, and thank you thank for you. everything this year. Um, but yeah, it's great to see everybody's creativity. And what I will say is, you know, learning from data visualization has evolved, even in the probably last three years that um, we've been hosting. And it's great to see the evolution and how fast you're able to learn and consume the results. So please take time. Um, if you get a chance, join us next year for and register. I think we said fourth quarter. Yes, yeah. So yes. we'll look forward to that. But um, and hopefully you all had a chance to um, visit the booth and interact with the different visualizations. I think something usually comes out too, right? Afterwards that yes, you can yeah. kind of um, we'll post that. videos and then also uh, the visualizations are still available on the Data Connect website as well. If you didn't get an opportunity, those are still available to check out there too. Okay, so we'll get on with business Drum here. <laughs> <laughs> Drum roll. Okay, our third place winner this year is Can Money Buy Happiness by Alicia Musio. <laughs> Congratulations. Congrats. Thank you so much. Congrats, yes. Thank you. It's such an honor being here. Thank you so much for voting me. I'm super excited. And yeah, being a freelance data visualization designer from Italy and actually being able to be here with you, it's such an amazing pleasure. It was truly enriching. So thank you so much. And also for organizing this. It's really, really a great experience for us. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. So thank you. Congratulations. Okay. Congratulations, take care. So our number two this year is Unicorn Startups. This is Himajapathapati and Shrikar Duvalapali. So they are joining us virtually. Congratulations, thank you. you. <laughs> So our first place winner this year, hopefully everybody had a chance to play with and, and work with this at, at the expo there. Um, our first place winner is The Water Business, Eva Omendez and Ricardo Tranquilli. Congratulations. <laughs> 
Congratulations. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's amazing. It's, it's a great moment. Uh, thank you. Thank you all. Thank you very much. It's really great to be here. And uh, the award is to be here in Columbus. And uh, well, thank you. Gracias mille. Muchas gracias. <laughs> thank you for joining us. <laughs> thank you. Congratulations. Awesome. Congratulations. Congratulations. Perfect. Perfect. Um, yeah, thank you all so much for joining us. Uh, before we uh, kick it over to our next session, I just want to remind everyone, uh, 2024 tickets are currently for sale at the Merchant Membership booth. You uh, had a great time this year and are looking forward to next year. Um, those tickets are already available. Um, so you can check out the Merchant Membership booth uh, just right outside the doors over here. So thank you. Thank you.